Hello everyone, do you want to learn how to make a web application using the most popular PHP framework Laravel? Then this course is for you. My name is Ranjit and I am the full stack web developer and in this course we are going to make a doctor booking application where the patient can make an appointment with the doctor. So you can see here this is the front page and I am viewing this app as a guest and you can see we have the login and registration button here and we have the date here and you can see some of the doctors here available on today's date. So obviously I can use this uh, date picker to filter the date and let's see if I click the 22 and you can see doctor are loaded from the database without reloading the page and I can change this I can see who's available on this particular date. Okay so now let's see the timetable for this particular doctor John Doe and his expertise is cardiologist book an appointment and here on the left hand side we have the little bit information of the doctor and here are the time which we can book as an for appointment so let me register an account as a patient so here i'll make an account as a patient and i'll make account so here are three type of user the first is patient the second is a doctor and third is the admin so currently I am logged in as a person here and this is my dashboard I'm logged in a person and at the moment I don't have any booking and I don't have any prescription from the doctor so let me change my profile here so if my profile has been updated and I'll change my profile image as well okay my profile image has been updated now let's go here and I'll make an appointment so uh, on this date, I'll make an appointment with this doctor. So let's choose, I'll choose this as a 6.40. I want to make an appointment with the John Doe at 6.40 a.m. and I'll book an appointment. And once this has been booked, you can see your appointment was booked. We'll also send the email notification to that particular user and you can see for that particular, we send email notification and we send the details about the time and date and doctor information and so contact okay we'll send the email notification as well and again if i try to so you can see here 640 is gone from here because this is already booked by this particular user and if i try to book another appointment then it will block this user will not give this user to make other appointment so this user should wait must wait for some time to make another appointment okay now i have one booking here and at the moment you see uh, this is not visited because I have not gone to the hospital yet. So this is the state is not visited and you can see here Here's the my name and I have booked an appointment at 6 40 a.m. or for this date. Okay So and there is no prescription because I have not visited to the hospital yet. So now let's go uh, Log out here and I'll log in here as an admin. So let's log in here as an admin So I logged in here as an admin and you can see here we have some details about uh, about the system we have the 10 patients 7 doctors 3 roles 11 bookings uh, 3 prescription and you can see the 5 department so here i am logged in as an admin here you can see here so let's go to the here so as an admin i have a power to create a department and i can create as many department as i want in the view, I can see all the department like cardiologist, family physician, ophthalmologist, neurologist, dentist, everything. Okay, and let's go to the doctor. Here I can create the doctor. I can add a new doctor. Here I should create the profile of the doctor. And here is the view doctor. I can see the doctor, all the doctor in my system. I can view the doctor. And the role is, uh, this is the role as an admin. Here I can view a doctor. And here is the information about the doctor. I can edit the doctor. I can delete the doctor. I can do whatever I want since I am as an admin. Okay. So now we have already. I have already booked an appointment as a patient. Now here in the admin dashboard, if I click the today's appointment, then you can see recently I made an appointment for the doctor at this time and. I'm making an appointment with this doctor, John Doe, and this is the details information. Now, let's see, let's assume that the, this user has visited to hospital and then 
the admin will just change the status from pending to checked. So I can make this checked everything as an admin. That means user has arrived to the hospital. So this is checked. And I can filter the patients based on the date. So if I choose the date and I can see who has booked an appointment on this date, I can see all the patients that has made an appointment on this date. And here we have the all time appointment. Here we see all the patients who have made an appointment. And you can see we have all the appointment. So now let me log out as a doctor, uh, sorry, as an admin, and I'll log in as a doctor. So now let's log in as a doctor. So I'm logged in here as a doctor, and this is my dashboard. Here is the appointment. Here I can create my appointment time slot. And here you can see I have AM time and PM time. So let me create a time. Let me create my appointment time for this date. And I'll check all this. And then I'll submit this. That means that I'm available in all of this time for this particular date. Okay. So let's go here and check for this uh, 0927. And let me check for this date. And if I check this, then you can see uh, everything is checked here. And I can update this my appointment time also. Let's say I'm not available and 9.30 and 9.40, then I can update it. And this has been updated. You can see the message here, updated. And if I check this now, and if you scroll down, and you can see this has been updated. So if you go to here in the check, and you can see all the appointment time that I have created as a doctor. And I can click here, and I can see uh, what's the time, what, is the, what are the time available on this particular day. So here are the patients, and if I click the patients today, and these are the patients who has booked an appointment in today's date, and the seven patient has booked an appointment, and among them, uh, I have prescribed medicine to these patients, and six are remaining. So let's prescribe medicine to this user. So I'll write prescription, and here uh, we have the prescription. So, so it's uh, reloading. Let's wait for some time. I'll refresh this again, and let's click let's prescribe a medicine for this user and we have here add medicine we can add as many medicine as we want or we can remove this so let's prescribe medicine for this user and then i'll submit this and you can see we have now view prescription and i can view the prescription for this user and here we have the prescription, all prescription that I have prescribed to this person and all these are the person whom I have prescribed the medicine and I can click here and I can see the prescription. Now let me log in as a person and here I can see my prescription. So I logged in as this person and I'll provide the passport here. So. And I logged in as here as a passing and you can see this is my dashboard and if I click the booking I have already booked an appointment and here you can see this is the prescription made by this particular doctor